Well, Eel Smith Canada is a uh, manufacturer of uh, commercial residential water heaters. We are located just outside of Toronto, uh, Canada here, and uh, we're in the manufacturing business, but we do have a complete product engineering function as well within our manufacturing operations. We're not only making changes because of regulatory uh, uh, requirements, i.e. raising the energy efficiency, we're also looking at how can we get better, how can we offer a customer more. The new uh, movement now is to use electronics and the control systems as part of the combustion process. Uh, we're very, uh, very much dependent on simulation, not only to get a newer product, but to get it out there faster. Uh, we know that there's, our, our competition is is, uh, as we call it in the, biz in the business, uh, well healed in terms of having R&D funding, but we, we want to be a step ahead by using simulation to get that jump, by getting a product out faster, and most importantly, to be able to be in, in the ballpark in terms of cost as well as overall performance. My background was in the automotive industry and I was familiar with Fluent and uh, Fluent was actually the, the, the software that we first uh, came across and, and we said, hey, you know, this has got application for the kind of work we're doing. It happens not to be an internal combustion process, but we said, why don't we take this uh, very powerful package called Fluent and see how we can uh, use it in our business. Contrary to perhaps some other people, we use uh, ANTS as, as a development tool. So as part of the design process, we actually simulate uh, whether it's a combustion chamber operation, whether it's uh, the uh, condensation phenomenon that we might find in our uh, product during combustion. So we simulate this prior to actual prototyping, for example, of a new product. Uh, so we will simulate the, uh, the uh, combustion, for example. From that, we'll, we'll say, okay, we need to make some modifications. We can do that, obviously, on the, on the uh, computer versus actually going out there and cutting metal and, and uh, building prototypes. So the net result of that is we, we're, we have found that product development times have been considerably reduced because of, uh, of our capability with, with, with ANSYS. We're actually, I'm being asked by our global vice president of engineering to actually quantify the, the benefits. He says, I know they're there. He said, I can't dispute the fact that your product development cycle time has been, and he said, I think you've taken out 30% in terms of your overall time. What does it cost to build one prototype? Typically, we used to build six, and now we think we can get by with one or two. So, you know, at an average cost of five to $600 per prototype, that starts to add up. So. Uh, and then, of course, if you multiply that out across uh, elimination, I call it cost avoidance. What, what cost did you avoid by not having uh, issues show up just prior to production or perhaps later in the field by, by more, more thorough simulation? So the savings are there. We're, 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 we're converts, strong converts. I've been in the product development business for close to 30 years now, and I, I've seen uh, <clears throat> what happens if you can be out there first with a product that's, that's number one, innovative, number two, is reliable, and has built-in quality because you, you've done your homework. Uh, what we're trying to do right now is we're trying to, to, to look at it from the point of view of, of the next uh, era of change. In other words, there's going to be some major game changers for very highly efficient products. And we think by using computer simulation, we're going to reduce that development time considerably.